What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. This is Julian and today we are here in Hacienda Heights City of Industry area. Day two on our Sauron. <laughs> actually take this is a perfect example here i actually wanted to see what a cop might say to me seeing me on the streets on the suron and um yeah for the most part i guess they're ignoring us i mean for the most part for now and obviously this isn't a street legal bike i don't recommend it i'm trying to do my best to explore the areas around here look over me where I can actually take it and as long as I'm obeying traffic laws uh, for now we're in the clear but again this is just day two I don't plan on riding um, I don't plan on riding this bike uh, as an everyday commuter I just really want to see about this uh, mountain bike trail nearby uh, Turnbull Canyon and Arroyo Pescadero uh, Trailhead in Azusa, but this is our Sauron. Uh, not the best of components, it's just uh, stock, mainly stock everything, um, but so far it's fun, you know, um, initial impressions. It d doesn't have any pedal kit, that's why I'm really wary taking it to the streets, but it's meant to be ridden, so that's why we're here. The previous owner uh, smashed the uh, speedometer on this thing, so we don't really know how fast we're going. We're just going to try to go around uh, traffic flow, but I've tested it via my app and fastest this thing goes is 43 miles per hour. I'm uh, obviously avoiding like the main streets around here because the main streets here is a uh, 40 hour, 40 miles per hour speed limit. And as we all know, as a driver, everyone goes a little over that. So they go about 40 to 50 miles per hour around here. I just want to check out some dirt trails near me. That's all. That's all I'm trying to do. My aim is to take this mainly off-roading. Do, do you really need mirrors off-roading? Huh. I'll comment below what you guys think, but I feel like I still should have mirrors just for uh, safety purposes. Especially if I'm doing some street riding, like now. But day two, man, first impressions. Uh, it handles well, even though like these are the stock cheap components. The suspensions are not that good. This is like the Zoom port suspensions. And I got the Ace rear suspensions. And so far, it's, it's buttery smooth. I love it. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's like once you get the taste for speed, it's like you definitely want to go faster. But by no means, this is a, a bicycle anymore. This is a motorbike, motorcycle dirt bike class. And um, if you follow my channel, I'm a pedal enthusiast. This is like everything I stand against for. I am in the process of building my own bike. Um, I went with a Bafang motor mid-drive and um, as soon as I build that up, maybe hopefully in less than two weeks, I can uh, I can replace my Super 73s and even this because I'm, I'm building an off-road mountain bike because that's more my, uh, my style. All right, so we're going in the main road, and I know there's a police station here too, so 
we either uh, we either get told something or we don't. Sorry, I'm making a right. All right, 40 speed limit. 40 miles per hour speed limit. And the police station is uh, please don't impound me. It's just right around one of these structures here. This is for sure a main road, Hacienda Boulevard. Cross my fingers here. No altercations, please. My story is, um, oh, I didn't know. I just got this bike. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to test run it. Something along those lines. But we're keeping up on traffic here. This is a Monday. So far, everyone thinks I'm a motor spike until they start looking for plates and signal lights and what have you. I'm still testing the range on this guy, but I believe it's around 30 miles on the street, going fast and stuff. Yeah, this is the fastest we're going. I guess it's kind of safe driving behind a, a truck. Feels safer. Hey, they're slower. I for sure can't hear my uh, directions at all. So I have to I have to actually look at my phone. And uh, I ordered a speedometer, so that's incoming. And my plan is to put it around here in the middle to relocate it. Uh, what else? Yeah, I'm not going to do much on this bike because I don't think I'm keeping it in the long run, to be honest. I want to be street legal. I don't care so much for the speed, but I don't know. Every day it convinces you, right? You kind of get attached to it. And um, it's definitely, definitely a fun bike if you uh, if you use it properly. And right now, this is not using it properly, by the way. Again, this is just day number two, and I'm just trying to find different places, proper places where I can take it that's local to me. I don't exactly have the, uh, the right uh, mount, bike rack mount yet, to uh, take it in places. But we're heading towards uh, mountain bike trails right now and hopefully I don't see any uh, signs that that says um, that says that um, motorcyclists can't go there because because then that would be a bummer I tried looking it up on Google to see if there's any uh, no motors no, no motor uh, bikes allowed no motor vehicles allowed but I didn't see it in Google so we're gonna check it out ourselves. Turnbull Canyon is where we're heading. So one thing, if you're not used to it, definitely when you're just starting out, definitely don't be in sport mode, especially when you're just starting from zero, um, from a dead spot, dead stop. Because this thing can actually throw you. And uh, if you're not ready, yeah, you. I almost did wheelies when I wasn't even uh, intending on doing wheelies. The other tip that I can think of is if you just, uh, if you're new to this bike, um, when you're going in long stretch, stretches like this where you're maxing out your speed, uh, just monitor your battery a little more because it just depletes almost immediately if you're doing a um, big burst of uh, max throttle are long stretches of max throttling. Obviously, the more the more you use your bike, the faster your battery depletes. But let's see, we just started, uh, we just started maybe, what, 10 minutes ago? Yeah, and I'm at 80, 83%. I was at 100, <laughs> my goodness. So uh, that's definitely to keep in mind. And obviously, it stops performing on the top end when it's about, I think when it was, I think it was around when it had 7% left, I believe. You won't get much juice out of it. It'll just be on the eco mode.
Okay, I think we're almost here. Turnbull Canyon Road. And we're at a 74% battery here. Let's get it. Uh oh. Fire truck. And we're doing a uphill here. I still need to learn about the region here. Like, um, everyone says it's not really um, worth it, but I don't know. Oh, this is fun. Oh, oh gosh. That's a switchback. All right, so this is fun. Any mountain bikers out there that would like to do this road with me, this looks fun. Comment below. This is Turnbull Canyon by Hacienda Heights. Oh yeah, this is a this would be a nice group ride. I think even with the Super 73, it's a nice view. Let's see if there's a lookout somewhere that we can stop. I do really wish I have a speedometer. If you've uh, ridden this bike or any bikes um, for quite a while now, you would uh, you would pretty much know how fast you're going. Like right now, I'm going about 20 miles per hour. We could even go in eco mode to prove that. So here we go. Go to eco mode. Well, we're just climbing this uh, hill here. This is a nice windy road that reminds me of uh, Elysian Park. Really learning or cornering. Or with this bike, it's easy. With the uh, Super 73 tires, oh my goodness, forget it. Or uh, I'm just not, I don't like it. I've spilled, I've slipped before. Because I like to test how low I can uh, tilt. That would be. Um, Rowan Heights area. That those are the foothill of Zuza Mountains. Fullerton would be that way. So uh, yeah, let's keep climbing here. Our Emoto adventure. This this is not classified as an e-bike. Not in my book. But if the authorities ask, then it's a different story. <laughs> Then it would be, I'm sorry, officer. I did not know that this, this is an e-bike, I thought. And uh, I'm only here in eco mode, so trying to be with, within the limits of uh, our speeds. But definitely this bike screams to be off-road. And that's why this is what this was one of was one of in our list. We got motorcyclists up ahead. What are we doing? Sorry. Hey, can I go through? <laughs> All right. Thanks. Wait, is that the trailhead? That might look like the the, the trailhead here. Yeah, I don't know what these motorcyclists are doing. They, they look like they're just uh, hanging out, smoking. This one goes down, Chabron Skyline. That one goes up even further. This is definitely a steep decline. And it definitely says, uh, yeah, no vehicles, or I'm pretty sure that's no motor. 65% already from all that climbing. <laughs> That might be for a different time, and I don't want to piss anyone off. That's I'm pretty sure the rounds are not allowed here. So, when we build our mountain bike, um, e-bike, this is definitely what I'm going to try. That looks like a really fun trail. So let's uh, let's try to catch Regen here. Yeah, and uh, I just want to see how far where this takes me. Then I'll head back. But this looks fun. So I guess no off-roading today, folks. I apologize for that. But that, yeah, that, that off-road definitely looks fun. I can see the, uh, the trail from here. I just don't want to piss people off. 
and that's exactly why I'm trying to build a mountain bike. Yeah, we're going about 10 miles per hour. And I, I'm, yeah, for sure this bike is regenerate, regenerating. Because it's so slow, it's not even picking up speed. And I, and I can kind of guess why people are uh, hating. Um, they were just removed, they turn off the regen because uh, if you just want to go fast and bomb downhill, then uh, I can see why they turn it off. But like, yeah, we're going downhill and uh, I'm not doing anything. And I'm, it, we're really just, it stays around 10 miles per hour. It's crazy. No one behind us, we got all the time here. But I can see a lot of fun trails that I would use on a, on a mountain bike for sure. Whoa, that was nice. That was a nice turn. I just want to ride this a little bit in dirt road. I know the sign is already going to say nothing motors, but just a little bit. We're not going to go in crazy steep areas. I just want to have fun with my bike. Speed limit 15 miles per hour, patrolled by park ranger no loud music please respect wildlife no smoking okay no alcohol hey this side doesn't say anything in terms of motorbiking or e-bikes just speed limit 50 miles per hour okay we may we may have found a loop here so let's continue with our e-bike adventures i got it on video Park Ranger, it doesn't say no motor around here. Hey, yo. Yes, this is the kind of path that I like. 15 miles per hour. Okay, this is about 15 miles per hour. Not even. Where's the Park Ranger at? I'm always curious to where they, uh, where they stationed. Oh yeah, this bike's getting dirty today. I'm not, I'm not a extremist mountain biker yet. I'm still in the entry, kind of a, oh, that is sick. Should we do it? Oh my gosh, with my, with our other bike, with our lightweight bikes, we definitely could do it, but, oh my gosh, I, I so want to do that. Can we actually get up there? That's like a 10 feet. Dude, if I slide, I'm still new at this, but I definitely, you definitely need uh, momentum going in there. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Sweet. Let's do that again. That was fun. That's, that's amazing. I like, I like whoever builds this uh, ramp like this. You guys are amazing. Got confidence grips on this bike. Yes, sir. The guy that I bought this from definitely put real nice Shinko tires in the rear. And that's, it. that's why I was able to get traction there. I'm not so sure if it was stock. If stock uh, tires would uh, get up that one pretty quick. But I can feel that um, my rear tires definitely dug in that uh, steep dirt path. All right, we got we got a shady way or a non so shady way. Let's check the battery. Sixty one percent. Um, let's. I don't know. That that looks like it just goes down. This one looks like it goes up. I just, I just want to see past this bend and then we'll just head the way back because uh, 61%, I got to wait for watch for my battery. I should be going downwards though. I'm still going up for, for whatever, whatever reason. I always learn lessons the hard way. I just want to keep adventuring before I head back. Okay, this is not interesting, so. Let's head towards the shady area. 
Another tip too, if you are new to a Suron, if you're a new Suron owner, your rear brake is your left. Keep that in mind, it's important when you're going downhill. Not slam on your uh, right side, do any kind of stoppies or anything like that. Unless that's your intention. Yeah, we can get up this. We can easily get up this. I have a Suron. Yep, and that was that was easy. And that was on eco mode. That's a jump. Oh my gosh, these are jumps. This is a jump. <laughs> oh yeah. Awesome. These are cool jumps. What? Okay, I'm new to this, but... Oh, we got air. Ow. Ow, I need knee pads. <laughs> yep, we're getting air. Whoa. This is the interesting route. Wow, people are just gonna fly through here. Look at all these jumps. Okay, down. we gotta send it downhill time, and then we're gonna call it a day. That was at least six jumps. This is awesome. So, I've been looking for a trail like this, and I can't wait to take a mountain bike here. But look at all this jump. I'm new, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna, I'm, okay guys. Sorry, I'm new. I'm not really gonna get air, but we're just gonna we're just gonna ride it. Whoa! We're gonna oh my god, we're gonna hurt ourselves one day. Yep, yep. That was a that was a pretty big air up there. This one is a crazy ass jump. This was totally the fun route. That was totally the fun route. I wish I had known this sooner. That's the boring route. That's the crazy fun route. I gotta stop and like favorite this place because definitely coming back here. Let's get it. Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna call it a day because I'm at a 56% and I gotta get back somehow. Uh, well, folks, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you eat, sleep, e-bike, kindly like and subscribe for more content. This is Julian signing out. See you next time.